Okay, Sandy Graham of Hobo Traveler. I'm hoping I can get enough light in here to show you what I'm doing. Um, all over the planet, you'll go into rooms in South America, Central America, Asia, Southeast Asia, any tropical country, and for some strange reason, they don't. Uh, only about 50% of the rooms maybe have mosquito nests. It, it's actually became a trend here in the last three or four years. Before that, you almost never found one. Um, then you wonder why they got malaria, right? Um, contrary to what you think, uh, a mosquito net that you put on your bed, for most of all, 90% of the rooms, you don't even have a way to hang it up, so it doesn't work. But the simple solution is to buy a mosquito net. I, I bought a mosquito net, I actually cut the top out of it, and it left a little uh, edging on the thing, and I have these corners on there. But all you need is to buy a mosquito net and cut it up. It's really going to get you for about 90% uh, of the rooms you can do this. So you only got about 10% of the rooms you, do, you need a mosquito net. I carry a mosquito net with me at all times, mainly because one, one bad... Okay, let me uh, grab my mosquito net. I have a special mosquito net, but it's in a com uh, compact bag, uh, what do you call it, a compression bag. Quite big, has a bottom on it and everything. I've made videos of that before, but generally, my better solution is to just buy one of these pieces of uh, material. Now, what I gotta do, this is a, you gotta look at your window and think what type of window this. So this is a window that opens from one side to the other side. So really, the truth is I only need to have the mosquito net for one half of it, right? So there's only one half that I, I only have to cover this area. But I'm going to cover the whole thing because what I'm looking for is a flat surface all the way around. I'm going to close the window. I can open it from the outside, but uh, it's not a very good window. So, okay, I, I guess it's a good idea I'm installing this. So i got to basically get this, the, the, curtain out of the way and then I'm going to because I got strings on here but I've got many different things I got some masking tape I got some uh, body uh, safety pins and I got some uh, what do you call these things uh, clothes pins because I always carry clothes pins now I gotta make sure this is wide enough to cover the window right so let me see is it long enough to cover the window? Yes, it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it uh, this way. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to use my my clothes pins, and I'm just going to hold it up there. Okay, and. Uh, So I do it again on the other side, right? Pretty self-explanatory, right? Okay, now I got it too. Okay, so this really isn't very good. It's not quite long enough, right? So let's try it the other way. Basically, you got to make sure you cover the whole window. I mean, one small hole and you got a problem. Okay. So let's do it this way. I will take this close pin. Okay. We got just a little too a little bit. We got it really fits quite perfect. It's just that I'm because I'm using, i got to adjust this thing back and forth until I get it right centered. Okay. With these strings on the end, I really could have just tied it, right? I didn't need to use these clothespins. Okay. So now I've got it covering the window. Okay. So what, what the problem with this stuff is, is it's stretchy and it runs out. So what I do is I take a really long piece of masking tape. And I'm going to put it on the thing, on the corner, and pull it over. Now, I really don't, 
I want it flat against the surface. So I got the mosquito net stretched over here. On that one side, there happens to be a wire kind of thing, so that's not good. It's got to be flat. You got to get this thing up flat against the wall. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm holding it right now, okay? So I got it held, right? Okay, the top isn't going to, is, is uh, gapping down. So, if, you, if you're really smart, you'll cut a bunch of pieces of tape and have them already pre-cut, ready to go. I'm just trying to show you that I just wing it half the time. Okay, so now I got it somewhat laid out on the thing. I'm, I'm trying to get... I'm trying to get this so that I have a nice clean area to tape. Okay, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to now take some, uh, some, uh, what do you call this stuff? This is, uh, this is, uh, let's see, box tape. So it's like uh, packing tape. This stuff is really a pain in the butt because you can lose, lose the, um, you can lose the edge. Really. So I'm going right down here. I'm putting half half of it over the edge of the mosquito net. So basically, already there, and I'm I'm just sealing up the thing, up the thing now. Well, you got to be real careful with this stuff is that you don't want to ever just cut it and let it fall back. You've got to basically roll it back like this so that it always has a <laughs> something to grab hold to. When you lose the edge of this stuff, it's really a horrible thing. Okay, so this, this side over here is up against the wall. And... It's kind of, you got to have it kind of flat against the wall so that it... Okay, all I do is just put it like that. I, I'm real careful when I cut this stuff because it really is difficult to find the edge if you lose it. Okay. Okay. I do the top. Okay, you get the idea. All I did is take some uh, packing tape and I did it all the way around. Now, a lot of times, according to the window, you can stuff this bottom up into the bottom of the window or something like that. Like I can take all this and just stuff it into the bottom and uh, kind of roll it over. So I'm going to take some uh, masking tape and I'm going to roll this over, right? Roll it up into a little Kind of making it neat, right? Could have done this with clothespins too. You could have done it with bobby, uh, safety pins. You could have done it a whole bunch of different ways, right? Again, I need a kind of a straight edge here to tape. 
Now I got the bottom. You can use packing tape, you can do any kind of tape you want to use in a way. You don't want to use uh, duct tape, it's going to stick to the wall too hard and it's going to rip the paint off. That's it. Now I've got the window, I can open it up from the outside. you got to make sure you can you keep the window open or whatever. And then what I would do is I would put the, put the curtain to one side and then open the window and make sure they do it. Now, generally, when I have this system set up, what I do is I take a floor fan. I want a floor fan. A ceiling fan really sucks. You put a floor fan, and when you leave the room, you basically push the, put the fan, point it at the windows to blow the air out. And I have two, I have a window in the bathroom here, so I can blow the air in. I can basically suck the air in from the bathroom and out the window. Uh, and then when I'm back in the room, I would turn around and point it at me so that it's cooling me off. Uh, this is tropical mosquito management. Now, everybody's different, but uh, you could take now, and uh, I would go through and take one can of mosquito spray, spray the whole room, making sure I get up way up high in the top of the corners, and I would seal this off. And then you got to be a little careful underneath the doors. Uh, you may have to put a... A, a towel or a blank, something in front of the, the bottom of the door to make sure all the entrances are closed. But now you don't need a mosquito net. You don't have to crawl in and out of it. Basically, any room that's got a mosquito net means they haven't got screens in the window and you should, you're paying too much, probably. <laughs> a mosquito net is not a benefit. It's a, it's a negative. It means that the room is not properly sealed with screens. Uh, now, in a way, the solution to all these problems is air conditioning. Okay, Andy Hobo Traveler trying to tell you how not to get malaria. Or basically, living the whole night with mosquitoes is, is not good. I carry a mosquito net because I remember spending one night in Montezuma, Costa Rica, in the worst room on the planet. I mean, Costa Rica's got some hellacious mosquitoes. And Montezuma is a surf place, and the room was horrible, and I didn't have a mosquito net. And it was the worst night of my life. Ever since then, I'll never do it again. I always carry a mosquito net. But, first of all, I do this. Okay, Andy Hobo Traveler showing you how to stop mosquitoes entering your hotel room.